Well, welcome back to MusketeersHockey.com as we kick off our 2011-12 player interview. And what better way to start that than one of the Musketeers' hottest players and one of the hottest players in the USHL coming off uh, co-nominee as the Offensive Player of the Week in the league, and that's Kyle Crisculo. And Kyle obviously playing very well right now, especially offensively. Five goals in three games, and I'm sure it's nice to be recognized by the league. Yeah, it was an honor to be recognized. Um, I give a lot of credit to my line mates and my teammates. We're all playing hard right now. and. It's good to get some recognition for the team. And you mentioned your line mates, Maxim Godro and Tim O'Brien. Uh, you three have really clicked going on 10 games right now, really on both sides of the puck. Yeah, I mean, um, O'Brien's been using his speed really well um, since he's been back from his injury, and Maxim's been controlling the puck down low. And the three of us with our uh, new forecheck have been putting some pucks in the net. And one of the things that's impressive about your line is not only are you producing offensively, but you're asked to you know, check the other team's top lines. And sometimes you can kind of get lost just focusing on your defensive uh, responsibilities, but you guys have found a way to produce offensively as well. I think we all take uh, defense uh, seriously. We, um, we pride ourselves on being two-way players, and when we go against the top line, we know that we have to bring it every game. So it helps us offensively. Um, when we get out there with a line that isn't the top line we can actually get some offensive pressure in there and then when we are out with the top line we just compete our butts off and try to get the puck out and try to get it in the other end zone. And you look at your stat sheet lately six goal uh, six goals in the last four games you kind of look how your goals are scoring right now it seems like uh, you're all around the net going to those tough areas to score I know you take pride in that as well. Yeah being a small guy you can't be uh, scared of the tougher guys in the league you know they're going to talk and they're going to you know try to keep you away from the net but Honestly, you just need to stay in front, and I've tried to do that all year, and right now I'm just getting some bounces, and the guys on my line are finding me. And is it fair to say, you know, you're approaching uh, you know, 35 games in the league. Uh, do you feel like you're making plays that maybe you wouldn't make as a first-year player in the first half of the season? Definitely. It's uh, been a great adjustment, and I think as the year has gone on, I've gained some confidence, and, you know, I think the coaches trust me at this point, and I trust what they're doing. And I think just as a team in general, we've all gained some confidence as of late, and hopefully we can keep, keep it rolling. And I know one of the things we always talk about on the broadcast is your hockey sense, your hockey IQ. I know you come from a hockey playing background. I know you called your, your dad uh, one, one of your heroes growing up, especially the way he taught you the game. So kind of elaborate on, on what he taught you and how he made you a smart player. Um, honestly, he's just, he's just one of the greatest people in my life. I mean, he's taught me everything um, as, a, as a human being and on the ice. But, you know, you always, you never want to let anybody down is one of the things he taught me. And um, not even just saying it, but just from how he's acted. And I really don't, I know it's, it kills me to let up a goal just knowing, knowing I'm letting the team down. So I just try to pride myself on working just as hard in the defensive zone as the offensive zone. It's great to score for the team, but it's also great to keep the other team off the board. And yeah, you kind of made reference to this new attacking style, a very aggressive forecheck, and also the defensemen very active off their point positions. It's, it's a new style, it's more aggressive. It seems like the guys are having fun playing it as well. It is. It's a lot of fun. I mean, even in practice now, we're getting in on each other and we're, we're letting our own defensemen work a little harder down low just to prepare them for the games. And it's good to get on the other team's D. You know, they're not expecting it after playing us earlier in the season when we had a little laid back style. But the new offensive pressure has given a lot of guys jump and given everybody every line a chance because we have guys on every line that can skate. And it's the final stretch of the season, really, almost two-thirds way through through the schedule. And, you know, it seems like uh, the consensus in the locker room with the staff right now, and if there's one thing this team needs to improve on, it's just consistency. We've seen you guys, you know, go on some runs here but then fall back a little bit. So what's is, it, is that how you feel is going to be the biggest key going forward? Yeah, absolutely. We've been trying to stay on streaks all season. You know, we've been up and down all year. Um, right now we're, we've been playing pretty well, and we think it's a lot, has a lot to do with our new forecheck and how we've been playing and that we've been coming to the rink with, with confidence every day. Um, it's come down to the stretch here, and we just need to keep working hard every game. And uh, lastly, talk about Tri-City, your, your opponent on Friday night, and obviously a very pesky team. They've certainly had your number in the season series. I mean, you're on the ice. You've seen these guys a, a bunch now, six times. Uh, well, what's been the key for them coming out, and what needs to change on uh, Friday night? We just need to take uh, it one game at a time. We have Tri City on Friday, and I think I don't. Th I think we need to stop thinking so much. We just need to play. We we can't look at the schedule. They've beaten us five times, and it's been tough. I mean, their goaltenders have shut have shut us down. I think some of the consistency needs to be our power play. We need to beat them on the um, on the power play and kill a lot of their penalties just to make sure that the game goes in our favor. We just need to work hard and keep playing as we are right now. Well, Kyle, thanks for the time and good luck this weekend. Thanks, Jordan. That's the professor, Kyle Chris Kulo. Come on down, support Kyle and the guys. They'll be in action Friday and Saturday night. Friday against Tri-City, Saturday against the Omaha Lancers. Both uh, starts face off at 7 o'clock p.m. at Titan.